today I'm talking about a magical decor style. Let's talk about whimsy goth decor. In this video, I'm going to dive into what whimsy goth decor is, how I've incorporated the style in my current and past apartments, and I'm going to give you a shopping list of 10 types of decor you should be on the lookout for if you want to start incorporating some whimsy goth elements into your apartment. And if you're new here, my name is Steffi, and on this channel I give small apartment styling tips and cozy living inspiration. So for me, Whimsy Goth really embodies what Moda Misfit is all about. With Moda meaning style and Misfit representing being your authentic self and walking to the beat of your own drum, the free-spirited vibe of Whimsy Goth just really clicks with that visually. I mean, Something about Whimsy Goth just conjures up my secret fantasy of abandoning society and living the life of a feral swamp witch who lives an untethered wild lifestyle in her beautifully decorated forest cottage. Like, that's basically what Whimsy Goth is, right? There's a little bit more to it than that, but let's see how close I am and start with defining what Whimsy Goth is. So like the name blatantly suggests, Whimsy Goth is a gothic aesthetic with whimsical influences. I think of it visually as like a gothic fairy tale vibe. Here are some words I would use to describe Whimsy Goth. Dark, rich, romantic, maximalist, ethereal, botanical, nostalgic, nature-inspired, witchy, vintage, celestial, free-spirited, earthy, and eccentric unmarried aunt. Like, if Stevie Nicks wore a decor style, it'd be whimsy goth. I'd say whimsy goth is adjacent to dark academia, cottage core, witch aesthetic, maximalism. Like, all of these were birthed from the same style mother. There's a bit of visual overlap between these styles. So if you're a fan of any of these styles, then you might want to look into Whimsy Goth as another facet of your interior style that you might want to explore. And I found a really good Better Homes and Gardens article that does a surprisingly thorough deep dive into whimsy goth decor. I will link to that below. And I say surprisingly, by the way, because I feel like these mass publications usually do a pretty superficial job diving into the more alternative interior styles like whimsy goth. But there was a really good quote in there that I'm going to read to you. So this quote comes from Heather Gorzin, the Havenly design editor. She says, I see Whimsy Goth as Grand Millennial style's darker, edgier, more magical cousin. If Grand Millennial is a Jane Austen novel, then Whimsy Goth is practical magic. It combines all of the eclectic maximalism, vintage love, and floral romance that people are gravitating towards these days, mixed with an equally trending bent towards dark, moody, saturated spaces. I mean, what a beautiful and well-worded way to describe Whimsy Goth. So those were some words about Whimsy Goth. Now let's dive into some visuals that will convey what Whimsy Goth is. I'm gonna show you a Pinterest board that I made full of Whimsy Goth inspiration, and I will also link to it in the description below if you want to check it out yourself.
now I'm gonna talk a bit about my experience with Whimsy Goth because I feel like for the past several years of my life, living in now three different apartments, I have definitely incorporated at least elements of Whimsy Goth into my spaces. And actually my studio apartment had a major Whimsy Goth influence to it. In my studio apartment, I definitely leaned into a very dark and moody, whimsical vibe. I used a lot of apothecary vases, and my rugs had a bit of a gothic vibe to them. My little office area was very whimsy goth with the sort of swirly, whimsical wall hangings I had and the magnolia print, sort of a botanical influence. My sparkly throw pillow would catch the sun at certain times of day and it would fill the entire apartment with like an explosion of sparkle fairies. I mean, it basically transformed that studio into a fairy kingdom. If that isn't whimsy, I, I don't know what is. <laughs> Then in my next apartment after the studio that I moved into with my then boyfriend, we did a lot of really cool, darker, whimsical design choices. We painted a big black wall in the living room. And then the way that we had our shelves decorated had that sort of apothecary, dark, gothic vibe to them. Then the real star was the bedroom. It had this big wallpaper statement wall of a black and white floral design that I absolutely loved and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy again for my current bedroom because I love it that much. It was visually very romantic, maximalist, and definitely whimsical. And now in this apartment, I'm not done decorating yet. I, I feel like I'm in a good place, but I definitely would like to incorporate more whimsy goth. I'd say there's definitely some whimsy goth in here because I, I can't help myself, but I would like the overall visual of the space to have more of that whimsy goth impact, much like my studio apartment did. Like you walked into my studio and it was, it was quite a few different interior styles, but it definitely had that whimsy goth impact. So I would like to return to that a bit in this apartment. And I would say to you that if you are digging the Whimsy Goth style, you don't have to go full Whimsy Goth. <laughs> you can definitely just incorporate elements in there just to add that little, the little bits of magic throughout your space. And wherever you fall on that Whimsy Goth spectrum, I have a shopping list for you of 10 different types of decor you can be on the lookout for if you want to start incorporating bits and pieces of Whimsy Goth into your apartment. So let's dive into that now. All the items that you're gonna see on your screen are gonna be linked in the description below if you want to check them out. First, I would recommend some dark, vintage throw pillows. In my opinion, throw pillows are one of the key ways that you can embody a style. They really just make such an impact on bringing a room together. So be on the lookout for dark, vintage floral designs, anything that evokes, of course, an air of whimsy and brings a softness and a coziness to an otherwise potentially edgy style. Next, I recommend a fairy tale esque mirror. Like, I want you to find a mirror that looks like it could magically talk back to you and help you cast spells on people. So seek out mirrors that have ornate embellishments and those vintage -y vibes. I mean, I would say vintage across the board on all of these items I'm talking about. And a whimsy goth mirror is definitely an opportunity to embrace the more ornate and dramatic visuals. Think like the primrose mirror from Anthropology. The Anthropology primrose mirror, of course, is very expensive, but there are a lot of good dupes out there. So if you type into Google Anthropology Primrose Dupe, you'll find a lot of options. Basically, just look for mirrors that look enchanted. <laughs> the 
The next item you can be on the lookout for is a vintage or vintage inspired wood piece. This can be anything from a wooden side table or console table, a chest to keep blankets in. Basically just be on the lookout for anything that looks like old vintage wood from another era. This is the kind of thing you can find in thrift stores. Or if you don't have a thrift store nearby, Etsy has so many sellers who sell vintage wood furniture. So that's a spot that you can check out as well. The next item I recommend you look into for the whimsy goth style is something celestial. Whimsy Goth is your opportunity to look to the skies and incorporate them down on Earth. So with Whimsy Goth, you can incorporate visual representations of the sun, the moon, the stars, anything celestial. Whimsy Goth doesn't have to just be a fairy tale. It can be sci-fi too. But visually, I'd say it's definitely more of a hippy-dippy take on the stuff in outer space. Next for Whimsy Goth, I recommend you get at least one crystal. I have a few and they just add this sparkle and earthiness to a space. Like how incredible is it that these minerals come from the earth and then we humans get to enjoy them. There's something ancient and primal about crystals. So when you have that in mind, they are visually a very powerful thing to have in your space. And think about how many like fantasy movies incorporate crystals, like, like Dark Crystal. Remember Dark Crystal? Oh man. I loved Dark Crystal when I was a kid, and I wanted that Dark Crystal for my bedroom. Next, for the Whimsy Goth aesthetic, I recommend you get lots and lots of botanicals, either real or faux. I know a lot of people are going to say, no, plants must be real, they must be living, they must be breathing, they must be in need of water in order to be valid. And you may have a point, but I don't like death in my apartment, so I just use faux. <laughs> faux is just as pretty. It may not be alive, but I prefer vampire plants. And Whimsy Goth is an opportunity to really lean into plants upon plants upon plants, florals upon florals. Like consider transforming your apartment into an enchanted forest. Now, of course that gets expensive and can take a lot of time, but take it just one plant at a time. Just a single plant or floral arrangement can definitely lend itself to the Whimsy Goth style. Now, since plants and flowers are not inherently whimsy goth, they're really not inherently any style, they can go with any style, how do you give your plants and florals the whimsy goth vibe? You get vases that convey the whimsy goth style. So the next thing I recommend you look into for whimsy goth is vases that are kind of the apothecary style bottles and vessels that basically look like you could mix potions into them. <laughs> Anything that looks potentially ancient or enchanted, that's what you wanna look out for in your vases and that will help you convey the whimsy goth style with your plants and florals. The next thing I recommend you look out for when it comes to the Whimsy Goth style is wall art that conveys any of the words that I listed towards the beginning of this video. Look out for artwork that conveys that dark, rich, romantic, ethereal, botanical. 
nature inspired, witchy. Basically, when you are shopping for wall art, have these words in mind. And you can lean into sort of a classical aesthetic with a dark edge and also has maybe a quirky and, well, whimsical vibe about it. The next thing you can consider for the whimsy goth style is something lacy. This one was definitely inspired by Stevie Nicks. <laughs> like I think about Stevie Nicks with her groovy, drapey dusters that she would wear with like fringy, lacy material. Like that to me is very whimsy goth. So why not incorporate some lace in your whimsy goth space? That rhymed. <laughs> Something about lace really epitomizes whimsy goth to me in kind of a subtle way. It just conveys like a dark, whimsical romance that's also very elegant yet mysterious. Like I had this lace shawl thing that I would drape on my office chair in my studio apartment. And it was mainly to sort of cover the fact that I didn't really like the chair very much, but it gave this sort of like French bourgeois witchy vibe to my office space, as well as just this nice texture that I think would be a wonderful addition to a whimsy goth inspired space. <laughs> and finally, the last thing I recommend you consider if you want to incorporate whimsy goth in your apartment is a big dramatic statement wall that conveys the whimsy goth vibe. This one is definitely the most intense recommendation I have. It's the most labor intensive and it's the biggest commitment, but the payoff if you choose the right wallpaper or dramatic paint color is very rewarding. Like I said earlier, my last apartment had this beautiful, beautiful wallpaper that definitely leaned into an air of whimsy goth among other styles. And I miss that wall. I, I loved it so much. Like the amount of whimsical romance it gave to my daily life was just wonderful. I ordered that wallpaper from an Etsy shop called Tap It Show. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I will link to their Etsy store in the description. I highly recommend them. The wallpaper was really good quality and they made ordering very easy. And they have all kinds of wallpaper designs that would definitely embody or at least complement the whimsy goth aesthetic. So that was my little exploration into whimsy goth decor. Let me know in the comments below, do you incorporate any whimsy goth into your space? And if so, let me know how you do so. And remember, your apartment is destined to be pretty and whimsical if you want it to be, and you are pretty powerful.